Is it too early to talk about True Detective? Is everybody caught up? Seen the whole series? Good. Okay, because this is going to have some spoilers in it. So if you haven't watched True Detective, watch it immediately, if not sooner. It's amazing. Can we all agree how amazing True Detective is? Yes, we can. Thank you. Okay. Incredible. Uh, HBO knocks that out of the park again. One of the most sumptuous, gorgeous, beautifully shot, engaging, edge of my seat, thrilling, incredible TV series of all time. McConaughey, of course, knocking it out of the park as he is doing over and over these days. Woody Harrelson bringing it big time. It's This is just incredibly layered storytelling. I love the use of of shifting around in time and uh, going back and forth between hearing the way the story is told and seeing what really happened, the unreliable narrator. Awesome. I mean, not enough can be said about how beautiful this world is. Seeing the South shot this way, every establishing shot in this in True Detective is just a sight to behold. I, I Telling you, if you didn't watch this show in HD, you didn't watch the show. It, it is incredible and by the end of the of the series when we're going down into that tunnel i told you there'd be spoilers we're going down into that tunnel and you're seeing the incredible set design i don't know who spent hours and hours putting all those branches and twigs and making it look totally intense and scary holy crap unbelievable every single location lit so well that episode with the long tracking shot that just kept going and going and going into houses and out of houses dragging that guy over the fence unbelievable i mean true detective was my go-to gotta watch it as soon as it hit my tivo every single week for the duration okay have i laid enough praise on this show this incredible show now i'm gonna say my gripes what was up with the ending I felt like it was a real bummer. I, it was a, I'm not a bummer. It was a disappointment. It was a massive disappointment. <sighs> yes, was that episode good? Yes, I got the feeling of closure on my two main characters. Yes, the show is much more about their journeys than anything else, and even more specifically Matthew McConaughey's, but both of those characters' journeys. But... Here we have building, I mean, this is, the, this is the most common error with any kind of mystery, is that you build it up, and you build it up, and you build it up, and I get so tantalized by how it's all going to come together, and then it goes, and it drops like a lead balloon at the end, and we go, really, that's, that's it? That's all we got? We had conspiracies, we had you know, all these different groups covering things up. We had people in power and and interviewing, you know, the from the lowliest, grimiest drug dealer to the highest senator. Everybody's involved. And we have, you, you know, you hear rumblings of the Yellow King. Who's the Yellow King? What's the Yellow King? What's it going to be? How long has it been going? Years and years, right? And it's some dude in the woods with his grimy house and his kind of sad little lady friend and he has a tunnel and he murders people in it. That's it? That's all? I mean, yes, it was tense as they went into that. Yes, that final fight between the Yellow King and our heroes was intense and scary and violent and oh my God, are they going to survive it? Yes, I enjoyed it on a certain level, but I don't think it, deserved all of the buildup that it received. I don't think that it earned, it didn't have the gravitas we needed. It didn't have the epic nature that it was building toward. And, you know, that happens all too often with giant mystery shows. I thought for sure that wasn't going to happen here because we have a show that was completely written and completed before it started and we'd had so much jumping around in time. I really thought it was all going to make sense and 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 come together and it just fell a little short for me do i think that mars the overall series no it's not like the end of battlestar galactica or the end of lost where the final explanation mars the entire series for me and i don't even want to think about watching those shows anymore and 
I used to love Battlestar Galactica and I used to love Lost and neither of them are even come up in my brain anymore when I think about great series because the endings were so terrible. Not the case with True Detective. It just felt a little slight. It felt a little thin. It felt a little unsatisfying. And that's a shame because of how great it was leading up to it. Seeing these complicated men's lives and how self-destructive they were and how interesting a character, um, what's his name, the Matthew McConaughey's character play or was, I can't remember his name, because of an R. How interesting these guys are. This is a, a character, this nihilistic sort of strange man. I've never seen that kind of character on screen before. And my goodness, it was so fascinating to watch him and such a great, great performance. Yes, I get the show is about those guys and we we learn about them and their journey to, uh, you know, spe specifically McConaughey's journey to pull back from that nihilistic outcome and really find a reason to live and reason for life. Beautiful. And that last speech with the stars, incredible. But I wanted the mystery itself to be just as satisfying and it and it. And it just wasn't. I have high hopes for the second series of True Detective. I hope they continue on. And I'm so excited that it's an anthology series and to see what new story we get, what new venue, what new milieu. It's going to be awesome. But I wonder if you're as uh, let down as I am by just how mundane an explanation we get. Yeah, he's a, an evil... Oh my gosh, that line from the last episode where she says... he, he uh, What did she say? It's, he's the worst... He's the, he's the worst there is or something like that. I wanted it to be true. I wanted him to really be the worst there is. And it's just like, eh, he's a guy who kills people out in the woods. So, True Detective, great and yet slightly disappointing.